What's up people of the YouTube, Spory here, back with another tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the Twitch plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. Now I did a tutorial on how to get your hands on different plugins and how to install them. I'm going to be linking that in the description and also I think I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen for you to click on. But the TLDR version is go to their website, Video Copilot, buy Twitch, download it, install it or get it from an ex other site and install it and then come back and watch this tutorial because I'm going to be going over how to use it and what it can do and all that. So yeah, well Twitch then. First of all, the plugin is kind of like it twitches stuff. I know, who would have thought? But I mean, basically it like glitches stuff or moves certain things like twitchy. For example, if you're gonna do like a um, dubstep AMV or something like that, I think this could come in handy doing all the different kind of effects for the different sounds in a dubstep song. I've been using Twitch for quite a while. I think, I've, I think you've seen some of my AMVs using it. For example, this one, the Raylix, latest Raylix AMV, I used it quite a lot in the beginning. Right here, you can see it glitching with different colors and all that. Yep, that's the plugin. And I've also used this for this uh, Kisaragi's departure in this part right here. Now, this is just color graded, but the part coming up right here. Those like color twitches and stuff like that, hence the name Twitch. I have my project right here, Madokao AMV, uh, and I just made some cool things just to show you off what it can do. So I'm just gonna play it without the plugin right now. I'm gonna go back and put it on over here. Now you can see right away how the color changed. It already in Twitch mode. So it like splits the RGB colors. I'm just gonna play it so you can see for yourself how it looks. See how it twitches with the different colors? And it's like, yeah, it creates like a laggy kind of vibe. And this is, that's basically what the plugin does. So yeah, how do you get, how do you use it and how do I use it most of the time? If you've installed it correctly, it should be in video effects and down here, video copilot and Twitch. You can just drag it to your clip or adjustment layer. Now, first thing I would recommend is doing it on an adjustment layer. Because if you're doing it like dragging it down to the clip, um, I'm just going to turn it off for now on the adjustment layer. If you're doing it like this on a clip, um, it gets the entire thing you cannot really stop it it's from doing it on over the entire clip if not you're gonna have to like do keyframes and stuff like that over here on, on the effect control so i recommend put it on an adjustment layer straight away then you can just like cut it up and just use this part right here if you want to um so it just it's just a lag on this part right here so yeah how do you get an adjustment layer? Well, you go over to your project file, so what not, right click, new item, an adjustment layer. And then it should pop up with the correct settings for your sequence. Okay, drag it in later on, yeah. I think that's pretty basic, you should know that. But how do you set up Twitch for a good use? Or should I, how should I say, like, what is this different kind of settings? So I'm gonna just remove this. For now, so we can get a fresh one, Twitch, drag it in, I'm going to drag it to that. Now this is what you will get when you put it on. The amount up here is like the amount of Twitch it will have, how many pixels it will move, uh, or how depending how you will use it, how much of it, hence the name amount. Then speed, it's how many like Twitches it would do in a second, I think it is. I'm not quite sure, but I, it should be in within a second how to enable Twitch to work is these boxes right here. You can enable the blur, so it like blurs in a Twitch. You can see here, here is blurry, here is not. It becomes more blurry. Yeah, it goes in and out. Color, pretty basic. It, changed, it twitches the color 
and you can change the settings for that later. Light, Twitch is light, darker, lighter, in and out. Scale, zooms in, in and out. Yeah, as you can see, it goes in and out. And then slide, the one I use the most. It moves the clip right and left, up and down, with a lot of motion blur right now. So yeah, you can see how it jumps and then motion blur on it. Time is kind of wonky. It twitches time on the clip. I have no real use for it. I've never used it, but I guess you can do it if you want. And then you go to behavior. Here's like the different things, the twitches, how it will ease in and ease out, like the transition between twitching and not twitching, or should I say it like that? And border over here, it's how you, it will, if you use slide for example, as you can see right here, it mirrors it right now. It, that's her arm two times. If you go like tile, it will just uh, get the right side again, like you, you do with your desktop and stuff like that. Ignore. It just ignores it. There is nothing. So it's just black. Expand. It will try to like drag it out. It usually never works. So just stay with mirror is my go-to. And then if you want another seed, it's just like randomize it. I never use it. So if, it's the only thing if you change the mirror to something else, but I'm, you should never really change the behavior too much. And then down here is the operator controls. So if you like enable blur, it will light up. If you enable color, it will light up. And for now, we will stick with slide, just to show you the different settings. Now, first of all, what I will do is lower the amount to like 20, so we can manage it, so we can see something. And then let's scroll down here. So in slide, you have these different type of options. For example, if I go to scale, these have a different options. So basically, it's, it controls however it will operate. So slide, first of all, I will I want to reduce the slide a bit more, a bit more, since as you can see, scale amount, slide amount, you can reduce the amount or increase the amount independently of each other if you decide to enable more than one. For example, I want slide to be only 20, but I want the scale to go up like 100. So if I just play this right now, you can see how it happened. Yeah, it zooms out, zooms in and out a bit more and the slide is not that apparent. And then over here, you have motion blur. This is really something I use a lot too. For example, you can see now she's kind of blurry, but if I reduce the motion blur, it will reduce the blur when it twitches. So I usually just drag it down to half or something like that, so it's still manageable. You can still see, but it's still kind of blurry with the motion blur. And then you can increase the amount, per, as you can see here, this is per second. How many twitches it would do a second. A slide direction, I really never use. It's, it's just if you really want the slide to go a specific direction. The spread, it's like how far apart they should be before they start again and stuff, stuff like that. Tendency is also like directional. If it, if it would go the same direction all the time or not. And then this is the most used thing I use at least, is the RGB split. This will split, whenever it twitches, it will split the colors. I will increase the amount just so you can see it. But all you can already see her colors starting to change. But I'm gonna go ham and go like 50 as, and then you can see. Now you can see all the red and the blues splitting apart from each other. So if I play this right now you're gonna you're gonna see it pretty pretty easily. Yeah you can see all the different colors splitting splitting every time it twitches. I'm gonna lower the amount so you can see exactly when it happens. Yeah. It splits the colors. I'm gonna find a, right here, you can see her green and the purple is really, so if I reduce the split, it's nothing. And if I increase it, it's gonna be go, yeah, pretty insane. And then like for the other color and light, it, it does pretty much the same. Change the amount, do you want it to be brighter, darker, or both, and then unique seed, it's just how to randomize, how many it 
per second color to what color do you want it to twitch should it be 100% color when it twitches I'm gonna turn those off for now so you can see the color twitches and light twitches I'm just gonna bump it up a bit not that much I'm just gonna bump up the twitches you can see more per second yeah, you can see it blinking a lot faster with the light I'm just gonna go ham with the light amount so you can see it even more blink 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 yeah and the colors I'm gonna remove light for now so you can see colors it goes it goes too fast we can't really keep up I'm just gonna... uh, you can see now it color yeah it blinks in color different colors so you can do it like that if you want some kind of disco vibe on it or something like that and then the blur is the same you just set to an amount how many seconds what the blur tint should be different transfer modes it's a lot of things you can do with twitch but basically it twitches stuff um, so i already said you should put it on an adjustment layer for, for the reason being that if you ever decide to like like i did over here on my um, the start of this this is like specific moments I wanted it to twitch to fit with the song as you can hear if you just listen it twitches at the right second because if you use an adjustment layer as I showed you earlier you can basically basically just cut out this part I want to use this part right here and then disable the rest of the layer and it will just I'm just gonna go ham with this yes it's pretty ham already so if I play this now, it's just gonna twitch this part right here. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here so you can see it better since it was just as the camera moved. As you can see, it twitches out of control right here. Let's see if I do it right over here. It will do it over here. So for example, on the hit right here, I want it to lag out before it transitions. Pretty cool. Now you just can move that around, copy and paste it if you want, and it will go over here as well. So use adjustment layers when you're using switch, uh, Twitch, because that will make it a lot easier to use. And if you just want this part right here, you can drag it down, and then you can Twitch a different kind, and then you just like, okay, I want some more randomization. And also, what I recommend to use is, over here you have this little slider, this is behind the viewing window whatever it's called you got this right here with full a half a fourth and so on and so on if you have it on full and you decide to twitch it a bit now I have a pretty good computer since yeah I do a lot of editing and other stuff now if I were to play this now it's gonna lag really really much oh yep slowing down yep and I can barely watch how it looks. To do it even more, it's split it the RGB some more and add more motion blur and then my computer is kind of, kind of going to crash. I can't see anything. Yeah. So I recommend go to half or a fourth. Half should be fine, at least it is for me, if a player were to play it now. See, I can watch it at least. It starts to lag a bit in. Yeah, if I go a fourth, it should be fine. Basically, it cuts down the like render quality or the viewing quality, so you can watch it, but the quality decreases while editing. What I usually do is just for my AMVs, I only use the scale and the slide to make the kind of the different kind of like lag effects and twitches that needed as I did in this again I can pop up and show you the the project file and you can see how many adjustment layer I used so here we are I'm just gonna zoom out and all these pink little things are adjustment layers with twitch on it so here from the beginning as you viewed earlier I'm on a half good
if you can, if you just watch here, every pink part, I lag, 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 lag. Yeah, and over here. Oh, now it even lags because, yeah, I've. So that's basically how you use it. If you, I can put up like the effect control over here, so you can see what this adjustment layer has. Again, scale slide 25, and it lags, it twitches 20 times. Scale, it's not that much. Slide is not that much. The RGB slide how, split, however, is kind of low as well. Three twitches a second, two scales a second. Yeah. And for here, it's little different, it's smaller twitches, or I should say less twitches, not smaller. Over here it's the same one, this is the same one, this is the same one. Yeah, I just copy and paste it wherever I twitch moment was needed. And then I just uh, made some adjustments to where I wanted it to be a like, bit bigger and stuff like that. But anyway, you can also use it in After Effects. Now, you shouldn't have, since it does pretty much the same, but if you're doing an edit in After Effects instead, you just do the same thing right here. Get an adjustment layer down here, new adjustment layer, and then put Twitch on it, right, as I already have, but I'm going to do it anyway to show you. Video Code Palette, Twitch, and then, yeah, just like use Twitch wherever you wanted. Now, this is a really bad clip. If you ever get into trouble with the this the black lines around the edges it's because the mirror is how should i say there is black line on the edges of the clip that making it like that so if i go over to tile it's still there ignore it you can see there is like some kind of edge that is really stupid so it you can see the lines i think even in this one you can see lines yeah, over here. It usually happens. There's nothing. That's not much you can do except like reduces the twitch amount for a different part. So yeah, in After Effects, you just do the same as I showed you in Premiere Pro. And basically, you have to like start experimenting with it. I showed you how I usually set it up with adjustment layer and slide and slide and scale. You can try to do something else and maybe show me in one of your AMVs. I'd like to see it. It's pretty basic, but it can do cool effects and I really love it. So check it out, guys. This has been an AMV tutorial for using Twitch. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you in the next one.